Um, how did football start for you? I mean, uh, who, who discovered your talents and um, uh, you know, how old was you when, you when you wanted to say, yes, I want to be a footballer? Uh, I was, I think, six years old when I started. But of course, I played a lot before that. Um, I think everybody could see that I could something with the ball when I was young, so it was just a matter of time when I started. Um, but uh, I think my dad, he could see it from the beginning. Uh, my dad and my mom was also the, the person who told me to start. Uh, uh, I've just got a qu question for you now. Three, three years ago you broke your uh, foot. Uh, how was the return, how was the progress of, the, of that injury? How did you recover very quick? Yes, yeah, it was a difficult time. It was a long time. Uh, it was a couple of months, but it feels like a year. Uh, but the, the the recovery was, was of course difficult. But I knew that if I train hard, uh, I could come back even better. And I did that. I trained hard every day. Uh, there was no off day. Uh, so yeah. The um, uh, who was your idol uh, when you, when you started to play football? And also, what do you think of Ronaldo? My idol uh, was Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, and he's still my idol. Uh, yeah, what I think about Arta, he is a great person, uh, very good footballer. Uh, yeah, I have only good things to say about him. What was the reason that, that you selected the, the Turkish national team? Uh, there's a few re reasons, right? Why? I'd choose Turkey, but one of them is, of course, that I feel more Turkish. Uh, maybe not my not my personality, but inside me. And um, I did also feel that uh, feel that the national team wants me more than than example Den Denmark did. That's why also. Uh, uh, what did you feel in your first national? You know, when you made your debut for the Turkish national team. What was the feeling? How was the feeling? Uh, I was Excited. against Montenegro. Uh, it was a great feeling. Uh, came in in second half, uh, played a good match. Uh, the fans they screamed my name, so of course it was a very very nice feeling. Uh, do you know that goal you scored? Well, uh, Burak scored that you then assist that the final game and you won two. You know you won. You got one two nil. Yeah, Sheikh will probably. Uh, you know how how did that tournament feel for you? What what, the, what is the experience of that tournament and uh, and how, how, what was the feeling when when you helped uh, Burak uh, score that goal? The uh, the feeling when when he scored was amazing. It was very very good. Um, you can just hear the whole stadium was screaming, smiling, and all all these things. Um, so yeah, it was very very great. And uh, yeah, the Euro it was it was. A big thing, uh, one of the biggest things in my life, uh, to play in the Euro for, for my for my country Turkey. So yeah, I'm very I'm very proud. Uh, wh what do you think about Fatih Terim? Fatih Terim is uh, a very good coach, uh, good personality. Uh, uh, he's he likes me very much, and I like him and. I'm just uh, happy to have a person like him, that he just took me into the national team, took care of me, uh, and all this. Yeah, I'm just happy f to have him. What What was one of the reasons that you chose Borussia Dortmund? Uh, um, you know, are you are you happy at Borussia Dortmund? Uh, have you settled down in Dortmund? When I hear that, when I heard that um, Dortmund wants me, then our I was only thinking about this because I know that I knew that in Germany and, and especially in Dortmund, they the training, everything, it just grow a player up. It's, you get better every day, training. They train hard, and all these things. And I and I I just think when I hear I hear Borussia Dortmund, that I will get a better player. I'll be better every day, and uh, and I also have a chance to play. So that's why I choose Dortmund. Yeah. 
Uh, how, was the, how was the first few days in Germany when you came over from Denmark? You know, the, the adaptation, the, you know, how did you settle down very quickly? Um, uh, you know, did, what did you do in your spare times uh, in, in Dortmund? I was, it's, in the beginning it's a little bit difficult uh, because you don't know anything, it's just all things new. Um, but yeah, now of course I've been here for a couple of months, so I feel good now, uh, and I feel good with my teammates and all the coaches. Uh, you came as a sub against Real Madrid, um, and you was very close to scoring a goal. Uh, and one of the most uh, important images of that match was when you and Ronaldo were to, together. W what did it feel like playing in that game, and what did it feel like being next to your idol? Uh, it feels very strange to to finally play against him uh, you have always seen him in the tv um, you have always seen him on pictures uh, so it's very strange but it was a very good feeling uh, it was a dream come true uh, i'm very proud and happy to to play against him yeah, you know you took a selfie in the euros of uh, uh, modric uh, it, was, it was talking a lot uh, w w what exactly happened that day? What made you want to take a picture with him and, and uh, you know see him and so on? Oh, because at that time uh, I played in Denmark, um, I've never met met uh, so good footballers like Modric, and he he played in Real Madrid, and I have always looked at Real Madrid, uh, the team. I always followed the Spanish league, so and I think that he is a very good footballer. So of course I will take a, would take a, take a selfie with him. When he was just next to me. You sort of game style, the way you play, the way you uh, you know um, play your game. Uh, it's very similar to Messi. Um, what do you think about Messi? Uh, Messi is Messi is uh, one of the best in the world, if not the best. Um, so I don't want to be compared with uh, Messi. I'm not good enough for that yet. So. Your family supporting you and uh, and also your manager Mozi Uh wh What's what's very important about him, and what uh, and what's the importance of the of the support that you get uh, from your family and from your agent? Uh, you know, th does it make you? Um, is it is it helping you a lot? You know, is it you know is it giving you a, a lot of positive react reactions, helping yeah. you settle down? Yeah, of course. If it was if I was just alone here in Germany. Then it took took a little longer time to be comfortable here. Uh, of course, when they are here, I feel more home. Uh, if I was alone, I will not feel home. I would just feel like they have thrown me in a house in another country. Because uh, I'm only 19 and and I need my agent and my my family, of course. Uh, one day in the future, uh, you know, maybe in 10 years time and so on. Would you would you ever play your football in Turkey? Uh, I don't know. What what will be your messages uh, towards the Dortmund fans and also to the Turkish fans, you know, Turkish national team? Thanks for the support, of course. Uh, both both fans is crazy. <laughs> I'm lucky to play for Dortmund and Turkey because they they both have so good fans. Um, yeah, you can see every day, every match there's like eighty thousand. There's nothing to say to that. Um, do you plan to learn uh, Turkish? Yeah, but right now is the, I don't have so much time. So, but one day, of course. After the match, uh, what did you speak with Ronaldo with? Um, you know, when you had that uh, uh, that that few uh, seconds when you had that inter interaction, what did you not speak about? Uh, I ask him, ask him for my sh uh, for his shirt. Um, then he said that uh, he gave it out to another player, but he promised me that to give it in Benabeu. Uh, and then I just uh, told him that he's. I'm a big fan of him uh, since I was five years old. We have seen your your phone uh, cover as Cristiano Ronaldo and you uh, at the match against Dortmund. Um, you know what made you want to do that? Is it you love him? Yeah, yeah bec because it's a big moment it's, uh, in my life uh, uh, to play against my idol. Uh, of 
course. So why not? <laughs> if you had three, three special moments in your whole entire life, like you'll never forget so far at this age of 19, what are the, what are the most three special things that, that, that you'll never forget? I presume one is the Ronaldo. What is the second or third? Uh, only in football. Yeah, only in football. Um, Euro. That's not the first. I just take three. It, my three best things in my football career is Euro, Ronaldo. Don't know the. <laughs> oh, I don't know the third. What do you want to say about the football world? You know, like football. It's, what's your view on football? Uh, uh, football is the best sport, of course, uh, but it's not always funny. It's also difficult times and uh, there's also some times where you don't want to train, but you have to. Uh, but people think that it's only fun, 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 but it's also very hard and difficult. But of course, uh, it's the best job to have uh, just to play football, but it's also very difficult. In the next, the last question, the next five years, where do you see yourself? Don't forget you've got a five-year contract with Borussia Dortmund. I see myself in Dortmund. <laughs>